We've been showing you so many cool bits for the impact driver, we almost forgot about the impact wrench. Aww. I know, I know, but don't worry because we're going to show you a really cool tool that you should probably have for your impact wrench. Ah, you sound very excited. Alright, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Let's get this going. Ah, the impact wrench, the big brother of the impact driver, but we sort of forget about it because we only use it for specific applications. Let's face it, the impact driver is smaller, has tons of power, and can be used on a ton of applications. But the impact wrench is also very important. If you have larger jobs such as removing lugs or driving bigger lags, that is a perfect tool for the job. But how cool would it be if we could expand the use of the impact wrench simply by using an adapter? And here it is, the DeWalt Impact Ready Quarter Inch Hex Shank Adapter. This thing will actually turn your impact wrench into an impact driver. You got a half inch back here, you can throw in your anvil right up on the front of the impact wrench. And you also got the hole for the pin on the anvil that will really lock this thing in. On the front you got the rapid load, this is where all of your impact bits are going to go. Yep, just like that one right there. I'm going to show you how this works, but now that you can use your impact wrench as an impact driver, you can do one of two things. Save money and don't have to worry about buying an impact driver. Or you can simply leave it at home and not lug two tools around with you all day. So your bit is going to go right in just like so. And it really locks in there. It's not going anywhere until you release it yourself. Oh, you want to see how that's done, you ask? Check it out. All you have to do is take that head right here and basically pull down on it and boom, that's it. As for the build quality on this adapter, it is great. 100% metal, no plastic on this thing. It is beastly. That is what I was so surprised about when I took it out of the package, just how well it was built. You can take this thing all day long, beat it up, and do not have to worry about it breaking. And yeah, I bought this with my own money. Super easy to use, very smooth with the release, and then it locks automatically. I guess that's why they call it the rapid load. You just throw it on your anvil and it is ready to use. Now we're going to put our bit in. We're going to use a Torx here. And believe it or not, we are going to sink a screw with our impact wrench. Amazing. But we're going to take this one step further. We're actually going to use another bit that we reviewed earlier this week. It is the Makita, the magnetizing bit. We're going to throw that on that bit as well. Now we don't have to worry about our screws going anywhere. I am like a mad scientist with a concoction of bits. And oh, check that out. It sinks that screw, no issue at all. Now, yes, it is bigger than your impact driver. You might have to get into tighter areas, which this might not work for you, but check this out. I just throw that bad boy in the low setting and let it do the work for me. And trust me, you don't have to worry about not having enough power to sink any screw. This thing actually works a lot better than I thought it would. I thought that the power of the impact, it was just going to be too much. I thought it was going to have too much speed, and I was wrong. This thing works great. And check out that magnetic bit holder. Yeah, I'll put that video at the end of this video for you to check out. So all in all, this thing worked amazingly well. I did not think it was going to work that good. The only issue I did have with it is it does wobble a little bit, but... Guess what? It's an adapter going on an impact wrench that allows you to do something that an impact driver would let you. That said, once you do put a little bit of pressure on that screw, it's not going to wobble on you. It's going to go down straight, even, and it works very well. And you definitely don't have to worry about this thing coming off on you unless you want it to. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out this adapter yourself. But I want to know, what do you think? Have you used this before? If you have, do you like it? If you don't, why not? Maybe you're planning on getting one after you've seen the video. Let me know that as well. If this video has helped you in any way, don't forget to smash that like button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any other reviews. If you absolutely despise this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. And if you want, you can come over to the Instagram page at Tool Review Zone and say hi. We'd love to see you over there. With that said, we'll be back with more videos soon.